And welcome to Horror with Marchese and Buller. If you're listening to this and it just came out, it's the Wednesday show. If not, you're just it's just another episode. Hopefully you listen to the rest. This one is going to be about being concise in writing. This is more of a writing episode. Just our feelings on it. I feel as long as you put the proper timeline, you can't just say he picked up the mouse and he, dra- he drank some soda. Because you see him picking up the mouse in your eyes, not picking up a soda. Another pet peeve of mine is when you just have, like, move characters around on in a story like their chess pieces. So, he did this. Don't do that, he said, as he peered out the window down to the valley. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, just say what he said and then explain what he's seeing. You don't have to say he's, he, he saw, he did, he did, blah, 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 he walked. One of the big ones is nodding and shaking your head as well and saying dialogue. You know, people constantly sort of doing that <laughs> you know, all the way through it. You yeah, know? you know, if you put the proper words, that could be, I guess, the name of the word, proper wording. If you put the proper words in the right places, you can see what people are doing. You don't even have to say anything. You don't have to give direction. You don't have to give description of what they're doing, how they're doing it. He grabbed the glass really hard. You can say he gripped the cup and his fingers turned red or the knuckles turned red and his fingers were white i see someone gripping a cup really hard there you know i mean i mean mm. that's just off at the top of my head but obviously you could do yeah. better than that but you know he it, gripped his <laughs> with white and knuckles <laughs> <laughs> well that's a good example um so that tells you he's, whatever he's gripping is tight he's gripping it tightly isn't it yeah you know and then you can see that inside your head you don't have to go and <laughs> You know, say, oh, he gripped the cup tight. You know, if you have to tell, if yeah. you have to tell somebody that they, what they're doing, you know, and then yeah. it goes back to the whole show versus tell and, and all that crap. Show versus um, tell, yeah. So, I, I say, you know, it's look consistent, precise with the wording. You, know, you pick the right words too, because I, I notice a lot of people when they explain a, uh, a scene, they have to say every single thing. When there's one sentence that will get all those feelings. And all those things across, you just have to find it, and that's what being a writer is. It's you know, it's not easy. Yeah, I think it's uh, partially poor editing because be, I yeah. think I think more or less everyone writes a first draft a little bit like that. Yeah. Even if you try to actively avoid it, you know, you do sometimes as a placeholder. Find, yeah, you find yourself rambling a little bit, and part of the the editing process is especially like the first or second draft is to sort of um, condense this a little bit and. And tidy it up. You know, I find myself sometimes my language is a little bit too plain. He put the cup down. Night. It became night. You think you're right, actually night fell, or you could you know you, there's other ways of saying things that are much better. But then you um, have to watch out because you say night fell, you're going to the whole literary sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But I think I think sometimes it's good to find a different way of conveying something maybe. Uh, slightly trivial but just convey find a different way of conveying it that isn't as obvious because mm-hmm. writing can kind of become full of cliches but if you find a poetic way of ver- uh, wording things without being too cheesy or too overly poetic yeah if that makes any sense and i think that can be better as well i think that's when you get into a very decent level of writing when you can yeah. condense it in such a way that you, you, the, la- the the language is simple and beautiful and, but yet the reader gets a clear yeah. image in their mind. But no, I know exactly what you mean. So, but And it's exactly like what I was saying before. When you see those things, you, you already have an idea of what the person is doing. You don't even have to, Sometimes you can have them talking. They'll say, for instance, I was talking to them on the phone. No, 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 put that down. Right? And that's the, that's the dialogue. Mm-hmm. No, 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 put that down. But now you yeah, see yeah, someone... Yeah. You know, maybe putting their finger up and telling someone else, no, 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 put that down. Or, you know, and then yeah, he turned yeah. to the kid or he turned away from the child. And st- and, and mm-hmm. then he starts talking. You know, there's ways of putting things in a story that you don't actually have to put in a story. Is basically. Yeah, like Will had a strange smile on his face. Don't neglect the parts, he said. <laughs> of course, you know, that's getting cut out. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, 
but you know exactly what what you, you, you know exactly what's happening in the scene. Yeah. You, you, without me actually telling what telling you what's happening in the scene. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's it is a little bit rude, but you, you know it's like you you know exactly what's happening because maybe I'll you know, keep it in there and heavily got, edit it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a strange smile on the face, you know, and you don't neglect. Them. You know, and you know exactly what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, so, what do you think? When you write, do you find you do this sometimes? Do you say, who cares? Let me just send it to an editor and they'll fix it. Sometimes they don't. Most of the times mm. nowadays they don't. Do you, yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you like writing that way? Do you think that it's necessary to describe what your main character is doing? Maybe Will's being too harsh. Maybe. You should be able to say that he's put the damn cup down. You should be able to say that he's going from room to room. If that's the case, prove Will wrong. Prove you know? me wrong. And you know what? Sometimes it's good to use passive sentences, so I actually agree with you, Gary. Earlier, I was, I was doing a bit of writing, and I used a passive sentence. I, 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 I thought the best way to convey this is with a passive sentence. Yeah, it's so the only passive sentence in the entire story. Yeah. But I thought... No, sometimes it's... Sometimes, it's you, know? you know, sometimes you need to do it. But, yeah, uh, absolutely. Stephen King does it all the time, and he says, and he's against it. <laughs> I know, I know. Exactly. We leave you comments below and let us know what you think, and we will see you Friday or next episode. Yeah, have a good one. Never don't. Um, <laughs> red face. Yeah. Red face. <laughs> so what do you think when you write? And cheesy is my last name. No, it's not. It's Marchese. But um. <laughs> Mark, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you, you know, early hours. <laughs> Never, don't forget, never, never forget, do not neglect. Jesus Christ. Never, never. Golden rule. It sees the Sunday, you heathen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that right? You heathen? I don't know. Anyway. Either, yeah. Never, never neglect the eggs. The eggs, the waveless. <laughs> we was Francheros. <laughs> Follow us. <laughs> Don't neglect the <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh jeez, what is that? <laughs> Boing. <laughs> brushing your teeth, right? That's what you're doing. You're just brushing your teeth. All right. <laughs>